Tragic toll, 13-year-old Palestinian shot and killed by Israeli forces. In a tragic incident near Nablus, Israeli forces shot and killed a 13-year-old Palestinian boy, Amir Rafat Mahmoud Mlaitat, on October 13. Amir was participating in a demonstration near Beit Furik, east of Nablus in the northern occupied West Bank, in solidarity with Palestinians in Gaza. During the demonstration, he was struck in the head by a bullet fired by Israeli forces from approximately 150 meters away. Despite efforts to transport him to a health center and then to Rafidia Governmental Hospital in Nablus, Amir was pronounced dead at around 3 p.m. This devastating event marks the eighth time since October 7 that a Palestinian child has been shot and killed by Israeli forces and settlers. These incidents are occurring in the context of an ongoing full-scale assault on Gaza known as Operation Iron Swords. Israeli forces shot and killed a 12-year-old, Ahmad Abdulnazer Adnan Rabi, near the Israeli-controlled Eyal crossing close to Kalkilia on October 7. The following day, 16-year-old Yusef Nader Suleiman Idris lost his life during confrontations in Hebron. Imad Jer Majid Adeli, also 16, was fatally shot by Israeli forces in Beta, southeast of Nablus, on the same day. On October 8, Yasser the Ursami Kusba, 17, was shot and killed near the Kalandia checkpoint. In the early hours of October 9, 17-year-old Adam Umjud Fathi Al Jalani lost his life at the same checkpoint. On October 11, Obada Sadawat Abu Srawar, 17, was shot in the back during an attack by Israeli settlers and soldiers in the village of Khuzra, and he later succumbed to his injuries. In another tragic incident, 16-year-old Amones Rebi Musa Zaydat was fatally shot by Israeli forces in Bani Naim, east of Hebron, on October 12. These events have brought the total number of Palestinian children shot and killed by Israeli forces and settlers in the occupied West Bank to at least 47 this year, according to records collected by Defense for Children International, Palestine, DCIP. One more Palestinian child was killed by a targeted drone strike in the occupied West Bank. A total of at least 44 Palestinians have been killed by Israeli forces and settlers in the occupied West Bank since October 7, according to Al Jazeera. It is essential to emphasize that, under international law, the use of intentional lethal force is only justified when there is an immediate threat to life or the possibility of serious injury. Nevertheless, Investigations and evidence regularly gathered by DCIP suggest that Israeli forces employ lethal force against Palestinian children in circumstances that may amount to extrajudicial or deliberate killings. These heartbreaking incidents underscore the urgency of diplomatic efforts and a peaceful resolution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. They highlight the need for de-escalation, dialogue, and a commitment to preventing further loss of life especially among innocent children caught in the midst of this long-standing and complex conflict. International attention and diplomatic initiatives must prioritize achieving a just and lasting solution for all parties involved.